The Liao River Irrigation District is located on the northwest of Jiangxi Province, spanning Fengxin County and Jing'an County of Yichun and Anyi County of Nanchang. It is a large irrigation district with other functions, such as flood prevention, drainage, and water and soil conservation. It is also the oldest multi-dam gravity irrigation district the river system within the irrigation district mainly includes the Liao River, the largest tributary on the south bank of the lower reaches of the Xiao River, with a total basin area of 4,332.8 squared kilometers. The Liao River is divided into Southern Liao River and Northern Liao River, which further bifurcates into the southern and northern branches. Pu Wei'er. Wu Tan Wei'er and Xiang Wei'er are the three oldest water conservancy projects in the irrigation district, located along the southern branch of the northern Liao River. They are all dam diversion projects, typically in hilly areas of the south of China. According to historical documents, Pu Wei'er started as a wood and earth dam built by local villagers during the Taihe period, 827 to 835, of the Tang Dynasty. At that time, it was equipped with a 15-kilometer-long canal and 16 gates for water diversion, benefiting more than 66.7 hectares of farmland. In 1713, Pu Wei'er was transformed into an earth-rock structure, which was later consolidated with Tabia. The Weyer, with a history of more than 1,100 years, is the oldest water conservancy project in the irrigation district. Now, it irrigates 3,592 hectares of farmland. In 1476, the locals constructed Wu Shi Tan Weyer, about three kilometers upstream from Pu Weyer upon natural rocks in the river. Meanwhile, they opened a canal through the Stone Mountain and built the southern and northern ditches to divert water for irrigation. In total, Wu Shi Tan Weir irrigated more than 466.7 hectares of farmland in Fengxin County and Jing'an County. In order to distribute water in a fair manner, a piece of wood was placed in the northern ditch so that only a certain amount of water could enter the ditch. During the reign of Emperor Qianlong in the Qing Dynasty, Zhao Zhixi, the magistrate of Fengxin County, vividly depicted in a document how the northern ditch was protected from the river with embankment and trees. Today, the old camphor trees are still green and full of vitality, and the Wuxia Tan Wei'er irrigates an area of 1,040 hectares. In the Ming Dynasty, local farmers constructed the Xiang Weir by intercepting the tributaries of northern Liao River. The Weir was 33 meters long and irrigated 21.7 hectares of farmland. After rehabilitation and expansion in different periods, now the Weir irrigates an area of 1,753 hectares. As the three projects brought huge economic benefits, people in the Liao River Irrigation District and its surrounding area went on and built hundreds of similar projects. According to the annals of Fengxin County in Tongzhi period of the Qing Dynasty, there were more than 160 wares in Fengxin County alone. However, due to poor management and maintenance, as well as project integration, other ancient wares in the irrigation district have disappeared. A 
and only Pu Wei'er, Wu Shi Tan Wei'er, and Xiang Wei'er are still in use. The three Wei'ers are of profound technological values. People selected the sites by fully considering local conditions. The Wei'ers were built at bends of the river and on the hard places of the river bed, so as to strengthen the stability. The three Wei'ers were arranged non-orthogonally to improve the flow capacity. Wu Shi Tan Wei'er in particular having fully utilized the natural conditions of a deep pool and huge rocks, is capable of storing water and reducing the hydraulic impact. In addition, the huge rocks help to strengthen the stability of the weir, so as to withstand intense floods and prolong its service life. With a history of more than 1,000 years, the Liao River Irrigation District has developed rich historical and cultural values. It is home to Bao Feng Temple and Bai Jiang Temple, the birthplace of Zen culture. Local celebrities include Song Yingxing, scientist and author of Chinese technology in the 17th century in the Ming Dynasty, Hua Lin Academy, representative of academy culture in the south of the Yangtze River, and the famous artist Zhu Da, also called Ba Da Shanren. In addition, there are also legends and stories about local water conservancy, farming rituals, and folk customs. After the founding of the People's Republic of China, the Weiers were rehabilitated and expanded and a series of new projects were constructed, such as Nanliao Dam, Xiliao Southern Main Canal, and the Beigan Dam in Fengxin County and Nanliao Dam in Anyi County, enabling the irrigation district to reach its current scale, irrigating 2,240 hectares and benefiting 261,000 people. The Liao Irrigation District has been in continuous operation for more than a thousand years. It has promoted local agricultural production, greatly improved people's livelihood, and created a sound ecological environment. It reflects the coordinated development of the local economy, society, and ecology. It is a scientific water management system that has achieved harmony between man and water and an astounding demonstration of sustainable development.